planning on leaving today, um, but we want to uh, get everything 100% organized inside and uh, then we can cruise and know where everything is and not have any issues. So we're going to hold for today, enjoy the boat, get accustomed to it, know where everything is and uh, likely head off first thing in the morning. Super excited, currently in the Thousand Islands in Canada. Holding, holding. excited to continue on in our travels the first point of destination is Clayton New York and this is uh, basically I don't know it was about 40 minute uh, boat ride across to the US borders and at which point we dock to the public docks and we simply walk across the park and there's an app uh, basically a small computer station where uh, you can put in all of your information, bring your passport, boat registration, etc. And you put it into the, uh, the computer and then you wait for an officer to come and do a video call with you to be able to ask you the pertinent questions and uh, clear you to, uh, sorry, we're in a boat right now, <laughs> and uh, clear your customs. So at which point we went back on the boat and started our journey to the uh, Lake Ontario. And so with our border clearance, we are uh, fast approaching the eastern Lake Ontario, where we are planning to um, arrive in Oswego, New York. We are not quite in Lake Ontario yet and we've noticed that the weather was not on our side. Uh, the winds were quite strong. There was a wind advisory uh, for the day and having left uh, later on in the day post customs, it just got worse and worse. At this point in time, uh, we basically decided it was probably best to turn around, go to the nearest public dock and uh, just hold for the night and review the weather. Uh, it would have been a four hour uh, cruise to Oswego, New York, and uh, we'd rather just do it comfortably than, you know, have to hang on for dear life. To the weather advisory we decided to uh, turn around when we were just about in Lake Ontario the wakes were pretty high and the winds were very very strong so we <coughs> turned around and uh, we pulled into Cape Vincent I believe it's called I'll uh, make sure that I correct that if that's wrong
the lake. Woohoo! What's going on? Well, you know, first locks <laughs> in New York, first locks in Oswego. <laughs> yeah. Lock number eight. Lock number eight. We're just on our way up, guys. Uh, oh, Darkies, you're on the video now. Hey! hey. And Our sister. You, so there you go, the sister. <laughs> so as you can see just on the other side of the wall, or the bridge, that's uh, Lake Ontario. So you come right through. We, there's a marina right there. Sorry we didn't videotape it. The wind and the waves are pretty bad. And uh, so we made the crossing. It's all good. We're going to come through the lock. And Lockmaster was great. He told us just to pull off past the bridges. And then right over there somewhere is a big M grocery store. And we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some uh, fill up the fridge and the freezer and uh, we'll, we'll keep on going guys. All right, just left the lock, heading up through. And just up here they built a new section of walls. The lock master told us that's a good spot to be grabbing them. And then we're gonna cross this walking bridge. Hit up the grocery store. And you can see it's kind of cool, right? So we're in a that's the lower portion. And all the rapids. Huh. Pretty neat. We got a little cheater on this one guys we got a uh, <laughs> we got a bow thruster never had a bow thruster but god damn do i ever like that Dark. As soon as you can get off, get off with the rope, okay? So we're on our way to the groceries. We're doing a crosswalk over the canal. And that's what we came in from, Lake Ontario. We did this one lock right here. That's the boat. That's where we're docked. Skateboard park. And we're going to Big M's. Big M's grocery store. <laughs> right across from the walking path, there's a Big M's. And uh, it's got pretty much everything that you need. It's not a massive grocery store, but anyway, so that's our first load. Hoping that's gonna last one week. <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> and it's a really cute little town. Uh, the employers uh, called us a taxi, so we're just waiting for a taxi to pick us up. Literally, we just have to go across this bridge here, uh, turn left, and the boat is just right there. We uh, can't walk it because the cart's very heavy, especially with all the water. So, anyways, that's where we're at. Hi. Where are we? Lock number six? Seven. Lock number seven. Yeah. In Oswego still. Uh, yeah. We just did groceries. And how was that? It was interesting. We did 45 minutes for a taxi. Never showed up. So an employee, 72-year-old man, three-year-old, came and gave us a ride. He was so sweet. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're just heading up. Lock seven. We're hoping to make it to lock five, I believe it is. 
and I think Fulton is where we'd like to make it for the night. And there's a little town apparently and uh, some restaurants. Yeah, all right guys, we just came through lock seven, heading up. We thought the picture, the view here was awesome. What do you think, babes? Yes. These guys at the lock stations were fantastic. Locks are open, they're calling ahead for us. We should be able to make Fulton. They're very, very helpful all throughout the locks. Uh, the Oswego Canal so far is just fantastic. So I just wanted to take this video for you because that's pretty damn cool. Sun's really starting to come out. September 1st or 2nd, somewhere around there. And it's actually beaming on me. It's quite nice. Oswego lock number six coming up. Beautiful, beautiful. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, guys, we're almost at the top of lock six, I believe. Some nice clothes we're looking at. Pretty sweet. And we're almost done. I think we got plenty of time for uh, to make it to Fulton, and we'll go from there. at it but uh, the locks are absolutely fantastic and check out the view here isn't that sweet if I had a tube and probably six beers I'd be having a whole lot of fun over there Thank you, sir. 